It's so exciting to be here in this incredible venue in the Philippines. The scenery is beautiful. It's great to be out in nature and it's really art upon art. It's really a challenge to be stressed about going up. Then you arrive up and you, you already had a lot of stress, but now you need to focus on your diving. It's just, it's like a dream, you know, it's really amazing. I, I'm so thankful to have the chance to be here and I really enjoy diving directly from the rock. I'm, I think it's, it's really challenging, but I love it. In a lot of interviews, we get asked, what's your favorite location? And I've always struggled to answer that question, but this one has now, like, by far, by a landslide, answered that question for me. There's a strong current here. When you hit the water, sometimes your legs are pulled out in strange directions, so you really need to be extra tight here. I love it so much when the diving is part of the history of the city, then i really thankful to get the chance to dive from that bridge. The 10 is the ultimate goal in diving. It's, it's the perfect score. It's what represents the flawless execution of the element. A perfect 10, if we can call it perfect. It kind of makes me want to get out of my judge's chair and run around and pretend I'm with the crowd because I want to give it a standing ovation. The takeoff needs to be strong and bold and aggressive. And then it's all about the execution of the dive. Are the feet together in the twist, you know, uh, does it look smooth? And then of course the all important entry. And they've got to really get as vertical as they can and try to make no splash. So if they put those three things together, man, it's special. Look at this place, we're diving from some guy's balcony that's just on the perfect place on the cliff. You've got loads of places to sit and watch. And in Italy, they love sport and this is the perfect place to do it. It can really challenge the divers because they have to make a split second decision on, on how they're entering the water. So they have to make minor adjustments. And it's so difficult when there's such a variance in the height of the waves coming in. The impact here is quite strong compared to, you know, your, your flat surface pool. So really just kind of managing the reps and trying to play the, the smart game.
falling from 27 meters, 85 kilometers per hour is a really tough impact every time. So your muscle has to be bulky, it has to be strong to control the impact every time. Here you can feel Mexico as amigo. Every time, everywhere you can go, the people is friendly, the people want to help you, the people want to know you. Mexico is special. It's, I like it so much it's, it's because it's my home. The big challenge here is that uh, the orientation for the divers is completely different. They're coming from the outside, you know, the area that they're used to, and they're diving into basically a hole. Um, it's crazy visuals because you start with all the sunshine out in the open air and then you're diving into a deep dark hole. I'm used to diving in a, in a pool and so I'm very used to things being close around me and if I can come out and I've got lots of reference points around me, I feel safe and enclosed. I'm the special case here. I close my eyes. I'm the older guy. I learned the, the old style kind of thing. My coach has never taught me how to spot. Uh, so I close my eyes and I feel everything, which works fine for me. It's a cliff diver's paradise. Há um fado que é cantado, há um outro que é sentido. It brings the sport back to the roots, so we dive actually from the cliff, which is super fun. It's super scary too, but it just feels amazing to feel the rock underneath your feet, and it's uneven, which makes it a big challenge. It's absolutely a playground here. There's so many places to jump from, walls to climb up. It's a, yeah, a real uh, cliff diver's dream. I do feel especially connected to nature here. Something about the location, whether it's the fact that we're just sort of in the middle of nowhere or that, you know, we're on this nature preserve. Yeah, I mean, you really feel at home with what we're doing. It's really everything all at one here in, in the Azores. And it's, uh, it's a tough challenge, but it's a fun one. And when you conquer the weekend and you look back on it and you see all the amazing images and, and all the cool stuff that comes from it, you, you feel real proud and you feel awesome that you, you just did it. It's a really fun place. La Rochelle, I mean, this was the, the first event ever in Red Bull Cliff Diving. For me, it's very important because it's my first stop when I win a competition, you know, and I have a, a very good memory for this place.
This film was very special and I managed to do the dive that I've been working on and I did it well. So everything happened, everything uh, fell into place at the right time. The biggest thing with the city is outdoorsy lifestyle. Everyone's biking somewhere or walking or casually dining with friends outside and it's a very friendly environment. So every time we come here, we sort of know what to expect in terms of pretty like how amazing the crowd is gonna be. It's, it's a different uh, rock composition, uh, the spot is different, the rocks are different, uh, the dust uh, is very fine and that makes the rock a bit slippery, uh, as well as the, the room, uh, you don't have much room uh, for the arm swing. It's very wavy out there and the wind is just blowing and you don't quite know when it's going to come, so you kind of have to be prepared. So we're definitely just trying to be cautious, but I think it'll It'll get better for the rest of the weekend. We're gonna do that line to go to the other side, uh, to the rock. And it will be amazing, I'm so excited. I haven't cool. never done this before. The divers have never done anything in the night and it is completely different surroundings for them. So obviously, you know, they're they're very adaptable. We have different conditions in, you know, on, off the cliffs and in rough water. They're gonna adapt to any conditions. All the experience that I've uh, had over the years means nothing right now. It's, uh, it's a new thing for a lot of us and uh, it's a learning process. It's, uh, it's tough, but it's a new challenge. You know, diving at night is a lot of fun, but it's also very challenging. I mean, especially because it's a new thing for everybody. Diving at night, I mean, you let it get in your head a little bit, you know, because you're not used to the surroundings. You can't really see what's going on. So I think it's, it's more mental than anything else.
everybody's in the same boat. It's dark for everybody. Everybody's uh, having to make adjustments and it's looking good. We're at the final stop of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. It's taking place in Oman, about two hours south of the capital, Muscat. It's the first time we're doing an event in the Middle East. And uh, for the final, we've picked an incredible location. Wadi Shab is like a little oasis in the middle of the desert. There's three facts that we can point out that are some of the major facts affecting the competition. Number one, if you look around, we're just surrounded by cliffs and mountains, and it makes it really difficult for the divers to orientate themselves. They basically look at cliffs uh, wherever they spin, and in their spin, they need to know where they are, which brings us to the second fact, makes the water really small. So for them to actually find the water is really difficult. It took them a while to get used to this. You know, the training days were really important here. And then the third fact, which is kind of an unusual one, we have extreme heat. Up at the platform, it's probably about 45 degrees. The water is 33 or 34 degrees. When they're in there, you know, they're, they're not really getting a chance to cool down or like they're, they're warming up, but then they get sluggish. It's like sitting in the sauna for three hours. And yet they still have to do their really hard dives, which is especially towards the end, they need all the energy they can get. This is like typical Thailand, you know, all this, all this you see in magazines and you always think like, I want to go there, you know. So we get to dive at this place, beautiful. I mean, uh, this, this is cliff diving, what we love to do. It's insane. I mean, this is just gorgeous right now. We didn't get to practice here yesterday, which makes it a little more nerve wracking. I know we're all anxious to kind of see what it looks like up there. But man, this view is just epic. I'm excited to climb these ladders and get a look up there. This is going to be awesome. 